We'll guide you through how to connect an SD card to your iPad. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, you are going to need an adapter for this to work because on your iPad, you're either going to have a USB-C port here or a lightning port. And that port is how you charge your iPad. To identify what port your iPad has, the best way is just to go and look at the cable you charge it with. So here's one port that it may be. It may be USB-C. So USB-Cs are hollow, as you can see, and the other cable that it may be is Lightning. So Lightning is sort of for the older iPads. And if we compare them, as you can see, the USB-C is a bit wider and also the Lightning is solid on top, whereas USB-C is hollow, as you can see. So now that you know what port you've got, whether it be USB-C or Lightning, we now need to work out what adapter you may need. So what you're gonna need is either a USB-C to SD card or a Lightning to SD card. So what I've got here is mine's a bit complicated because I haven't got a specific adapter. What I've got here is a USB-C to USB and then I've just got a USB SD card reader for my computer, which I use as well. So yeah, but you can usually get a cable, which is all in one. And what I'll do is go and put some links to USB-C and Lightning SD card adapters in the description of this video to Amazon. So once you've got it, then all you need to do is go and put your SD card into it like this. And then what we can do is go and connect it to our iPad. I've now connected it and we've got two options. Either we can open up the Photos app or the Files app. So if you wanna open up the Photos, open it up like so. And what you'll need to do is usually your photos will be like this. Go to the top left and click on this icon here. It will open up this side menu and it should appear in Devices and you can click on it and then you can see all the photos on it and you can scroll through it. And if you want to import some, just go and click on them like so. And then you can go and click on Import in the top right and you can press on import selected or all. I'll just have the selected ones. The import's completed. I'll go and keep them though. And those photos will now be added to your library. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.